Hello guys, what is going on? In this week's video, we are talking about the best noise reduction software I have ever used. I've used a ton of different noise reduction software and this one is by far the best. I was a skeptic at first. I'm gonna show you guys exactly why I think it is the best noise reduction software out there. It is doing amazing things for my photos. I wanna share it with you guys. Um, and I've also got a link down below. If you do like this product, please make sure to use my link to purchase it. It helps give me a small little kicker uh, to support this video but I do want to let you guys know I'm not being paid to make this video at all I'm just simply making it because I really do like this software it's really awesome I'm gonna show you guys why let's go ahead and jump right in there so you can see I've got my image organized here in Lightroom now I shot this photo in the Narrows a few weeks back at Zion National Park um, and I shot this when it was really dark this is the raw photo here you can see super dark and you can see I shot it at ISO 6400 so I shot at ISO 6400 I brought it up uh, brought the exposure up plus three and when I zoom in you will be able to see once this loads out how horribly noisy this photo is uh, almost to the point where it's like will I even be able to bring this back but I want to show you guys uh, why this noise reduction software is just absolutely amazing so um, basically the her first thing that you can do is to launch it from Lightroom which is really nice uh, it works as a plugin so I'm just gonna go up and click on the photo I'm going to control click on a Mac or right click on a PC and I'm gonna go to edit in and go down to Topaz Denoise AI now you will do the option to edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments and these are the settings that I like for the file options and you can just hit edit and let that load out now while that loads out, I do want to let you know that this works on photos that are lower noise as well. I'm going to show you guys another example after this of a photo where uh, it's only shot at ISO 400. There's very little noise, but it works to help uh, bring down the noise and sharpen my photo. So we're going to talk about that right after we look at this example here. So you can see when it loads in to Topaz Denoise here, uh, it's loading out the low light option. Now the cool thing is that you have a few options on the side. You can select uh, which AI model it's going to use, standard, clear, low light, severe noise or raw. For this example, I'm going to use severe noise because the noise was absolutely uh, super, super strong and we want to get rid of as much as we possibly can. And you can see that's going to load out. Now you have a few different views here. There's single view, split view, side by side view and comparison view. The split view is by far the best one that you can do. And I usually go to at least 100% if not two or 300%. Now you can see on the left is the before and the right is after. Once this has loaded, the really nice thing is I can slide this to look at the before and after on my image and it doesn't have to reload. Now if I was to drag this around, now it's going to have to reload. So I usually like to zoom into the spot that I want to look at and target and then I will let it load and then I will simply go back and forth and adjust these settings. Each time you adjust the settings, of course, it has to reload, but you can keep adjusting the settings to find the exact perfect option for you to use on your photo. And you can see we've got a lot of different options here. Um, you can remove less noise if you want to, you can remove more. You can enhance the sharpness. So a lot of times I'll bring up the sharpness, bring up the original detail on a photo like this where it's really, really noisy to begin with. Um, but you have so many different options to control things here. And like I said, this is the best noise reduction software that I've ever used. I've used a lot of different ones. And this one just simply blows them all out of the water with how much noise it can remove and yet how highly detailed your image still remains. So you can see that's looking really good. You can of course use the auto option, but I like to dial it in myself. You can see I've enhanced the sharpness quite a bit and I've recovered quite a bit of original detail. You can even slide that even more, let that update, and then you can look at how much of a difference this makes. Um, it's really just awesome. I mean, you can see this photo right here, you wouldn't know that it was shot at ISO 6400. Um, I mean, it looks pretty good for, for how bad it was to begin with. This is absolutely incredible here. Um, and you can even see, let's zoom into like 400%. And you'll see um, that it does increase the sharpness as well, which can look really nice. So just crazy how, I mean, you can hardly tell the difference between the branch and the background. And then you slide this over and it's obvious uh, what the difference. And you can see now we've got a little bit of color noise. So you can also increase this slider and hopefully get rid of the color noise. You can see that did a pretty nice job of just getting rid of the color noise. So 
So many great options here. Super, super simple and easy. I mean, this probably took me uh, a minute or two if I wasn't making this video. Um, and even if you're new to the software, it takes just a couple minutes. So when you're done, you can, of course, go back out to Zoom to Fit. You can let it load out and you can slide it back and forth. And then you can hit Apply whenever you're done and let that load back out. It'll load right back into Lightroom as a new file, which is perfect. Um, so it's really nice to be able to have this as an option um, to load straight out of Lightroom right into Topaz Denoise and right back to Lightroom. Now I wanna also show you guys how I load it from Photoshop because I know a lot of you guys like myself are probably editing your images in Photoshop and it's nice to be able to just create a new layer, open this in Topaz Denoise and send it back just on one single layer to add it to the stack of your layers and reduce the noise. So I'm gonna show you guys that next. Um, let's look at this photo one more time at a full image view here. I'm just going to let it load out here. All right, so now you can see the before and the after. Just awesome here. Um, like I said, there's a few different views you can play with, but this split view is by far the best one uh, and the one that I'm using pretty much all the time. So whenever you're done here, you can go ahead and hit apply, let that load back out, and you are good to go. And you can see now that I hit apply, uh, it loads this photo up here and it takes um, usually a couple minutes. This says 42 seconds, but it usually takes a couple minutes. So super simple, quick and easy way to reduce the noise on your photos really effectively. All right, so let's go ahead and look at another photo. Uh, one that's probably more like a lot of the photos that you guys are shooting. Maybe you've got ISO 400 um, because you wanna just slightly manipulate the shutter speed or the aperture. The image doesn't have a lot of noise, but it has a little bit. Um, so that's the boat that a lot of you guys may be in, and that's the boat that I was in on this particular image. So I wanna show you guys an example of using it where the noise is not too terribly bad, but you want to increase the sharpness a little bit and reduce a little bit of that noise. All right, so you can see this is one that I shot a few weeks ago in central Utah of a waterfall. And if I zoom in here, um, I'm just using Command Plus to zoom in. And I'll scroll over here. I'm going to close this down. So you can see this is before the denoise. Now, I'm going to zoom in one more time. I mean, you can see the noise isn't bad at all. Uh, it's just a little bit grainy through here. And then this is after I applied the noise reduction. And you can see... We'll go again, we'll go before, and we'll go after. And you can see that we've just smoothed out the water a little bit. We've also increased the sharpness on the tree. So overall, it's looking a lot better with this uh, Topaz Denoise reduction here. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this layer and show you guys exactly how I made it. So you can see I've got my stack of all of my edits here. Now, all that I need to do is go Command, Alt, Option, Shift, and E to merge all visible layers and create a stamped layer on the top. That's basically just everything that I'm looking at. I'll zoom back out here. And now I've got this layer. So you can now go up to filter, go down to Topaz Labs and go to Topaz Denoise AI and let it load out. Now you can see that Topaz Denoise is opening up here and our image will open right into Topaz Denoise where we can make these adjustments. And I want to go to probably 200% again. That's usually where I like to be. Um, the percentage depends on how many megapixels your image is, but I prefer 200% with my Sony a7R 4 Now, I probably don't need severe noise here. Uh, I might do standard or clear. Let's try standard first. Um, and the AI model just basically tells you... Um, kind of what exactly the program should be targeting. You can see here when I hover over this question mark, it tells you um, exactly all about each of the four options. So standard is going to be your one that you're probably going to use the most often, but low light or severe noise will also help you as well. So you can see um, I should not have moved that because now it has to reload. Not too big of a deal. It just takes an extra second. But... Uh, it already looks really good and you can see that it kind of reduces the noise on the tree and it brings out some of the detail there, which I'm really liking. So I might even not even, even need to reduce that much noise. So I can bring this down to maybe 15 and I'm going to bring up the enhanced sharpness to maybe 40. And don't take these numbers for gospel or anything. Um, definitely try out your own numbers because each uh, photo is going to 
require a different number, different look and feel. Um, but honestly, it's really satisfying to slide the bar back and forth, see the before and after, and to adjust the settings. You can even recover some original detail as well. Um, so lots of different options here. And it's looking pretty good. I'm going to reduce this recover original detail again. And you can see I'm not going to use any color noise reduction because there's not really any color noise. I'm just simply trying to reduce a little bit of grain here in the water. And that's looking really nice. Now the best thing about doing this here in uh, Photoshop is that when I hit apply, I can let that load back out. Now by doing this in Photoshop, it's really nice because you can go back to the image and you can use a layer mask or a luminosity mask or a color range mask or anything like that to refine the uh, denoise and the sharpen. So if it's hitting an area uh, way too much more than you want, you can remove it from that area or you can add more by duplicating the layer. There's a variety of different things that you can do by doing it in Photoshop. So if you are editing in Photoshop, it's a really nice plugin to have. All right, guys, well, that does it for my review of Topaz Denoise. Like I said, the best noise reduction software that I've ever used. I really like it. I'm not being paid to make this video, but if you guys do want to purchase the software, I would really appreciate if you use my affiliate link down below. It just gives me a little kicker on the sale. You won't pay any more. Basically, just helps you to support me uh, as an artist to continue to make these videos for you guys that um, I like to make because I think that some of these things are so helpful for you guys. So you can see super easy software to use, highly recommend. If you guys have any questions or you wanna see any more further demos on it, please leave a comment down below. And as always, please make sure to like and subscribe. Always really appreciate you guys coming on and checking out my videos, especially those of you that are coming on every single weekend and watching my new video. I really hope that they are helpful. So thank you guys so much for checking out this week's video. We will see you guys next weekend. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.